Ryan, thank you. Meantime, Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call is calling for President Trump to be removed from office, writing in a statement that, quote, every day he remains in office is a threat to the republic. And Attorney General Call joins us live this morning to talk more about the extraordinary events at the U.S. Capitol that happened yesterday. Attorney General Call, thanks so much for getting up early and joining us live this morning. Thanks for having me. So I want to ask you about your statement. You issued that yesterday during the chaos that was happening at the Capitol, calling for Congress to act and remove the president from office. Since then, the president has come out with a statement overnight that he there would be a peaceful transition of power. Congress did its thing confirming the election. Do you still stand by your statement that Congress should remove the president? I do. You know, what happened yesterday at the Capitol was absolutely disgraceful. And it was incited by the president of the United States. And it's really the culmination of months and months of totally false attacks on our election system. And given what the president did, he needs to have uh, consequences for that. Any citizen who had organized that kind of effort, like we saw yesterday, should expect to be prosecuted. At the very least, we should do is remove him from office. And while I was glad that statement was issued, I'd like to see the president himself say what his written statement said. We're speaking with Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, we are gonna hear from Senator Ron Johnson in a moment who continues to insist there are unresolved questions about the 2020 election. Let's focus on Wisconsin. Among the irregularities that I hear cited often, the extraordinary number of absentee voters who declared indefinite confinement, the currently pending case before the state Supreme Court regarding the purge of voter rolls that did not happen. Are there any of these questions that have been raised, so-called irregularities, that you believe at least ought to be investigated? Well, these, these claims have been reviewed thoroughly. There have been multiple lawsuits filed, and we have been defending the state and defending our election system, and we have won every single one of those cases relating to this election. And that includes in front of some judges who were appointed by President Trump himself. So th those claims have been rejected, and it's no surprise that there was an increase in absentee ballots and an increase in the number of people who were indefinitely confined because we're in the middle of a pandemic. We had our two largest counties recounted. There's just absolutely no question about the validity of the election. And the president or Senator Johnson, who you mentioned, is coming on. They're doing a grave disservice to the country and our democracy by continuing to spread these false attacks. This really boils down to voter fraud McCarthyism, and it needs to stop. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, I do want to take you off topic just for a moment since we have you. Uh, your Department of Justice did an exhaustive investigation on the police shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, but in the end, you turn over the findings of that to the independently elected district attorney there who uh, decided uh, not to charge any of the officers involved. Do you concur with his findings in that case? Well, our role in those cases is fundamentally different from the role of a DA. We, we gather the evidence and we let the chips fall where they may. It's then up to the district attorney to decide what those chips show. Uh, we don't make factual findings and we don't make a prosecutorial recommendation. But what I will say is that we do need criminal justice reform. We have staggering and unacceptable racial disparities in our system, and we need to make sure that our system is equitable and that we reduce the number of officer-involved critical incidents. Attorney General, I'd like to ask you about security at the Capitol. I think everybody who was watching wonder, was wondering, like, how could this happen? The, how could so many people get into the U.S. Capitol building? Does that raise concerns for you with the Capitol building in Madison? Will you take a look at security there as a result of what you saw yesterday? Well, what, what happened at the Capitol in D.C. yesterday should never happen. And the Capitol Police officers went through a very difficult day yesterday, but the leadership needs to be held accountable for what took place there. It's just totally unacceptable. Um, I have a lot of confidence in the Capitol Police here in Wisconsin, and I'm confident that uh, they are both taking appropriate measures and, and will look at what happened in D.C. and make sure that they learn from that so that we're more secure than, than we have been before in Wisconsin. Attorney General Josh Call, appreciate your time this morning, sir. Thanks for having me. Thank you.